Welcome to Wall Street. In this video, we'll talk about ASML. It took quite a tumble yesterday. Uh, we'll talk about why it uh, tumbled yesterday. We'll talk about the likely price development in the near future and uh, how you can profit of the likely price developments in the stock. Uh, the price tumbled by more than 12%, nearly 13% yesterday. Uh, prior to the drop, the stock was trading at its, you know, its, its uh, all-time high zone, um, slightly in excess of a thousand dollars, and the uh, drop brought the stock down to around the 930 level. Why it happened? Well, it was triggered by the U.S. government's indication of using the foreign direct product rule. Um, I won't go into the, the intricacies and the details of what that rule entails. Uh, simply put, that rule, using that rule, the U.S. government can force companies located outside of the U.S. into stopping sales of a certain product to people they don't want them selling to. In this case, China. The U.S. government has been looking to curtail uh, sales of semiconductors and ancillary equipment to China for quite a while. And uh, given that uh, those attempts weren't really finding traction, FTP, the FTPR, is basically a, a very strong arm or a last-ditch attempt to uh, force uh, foreign companies into curtailing sales of their equipment to China. Um, on the same day that uh, this move was indicated by the government, ASML also reported earnings, and while they beat earnings, what was more germane or uh, what got overlooked in the you know the the excitement of the day was the outlook for the stock. They didn't give numbers, but they did indicate that uh, more of the sales will be of the memory sort and less logic. Uh, logic obviously being the segment of the market which de uh, which uh, deals with AI and AI is where most of the gross margin is. Um, the company has been experiencing elevated gross margins primarily due to uh, sales of AI related chips and equipment to China and uh, the company did indicate that it was looking at a normalization of uh, gross margins. So it's not that the FDP rule implementation or likely implementation by the U.S. government was the only trigger for the stock to rate downwards. Uh, the business conditions also uh, were not entirely conducive to a, you know, upward tick in the stock. Allied with that, you have the valuation of the stock. The red zone over here is the all-time high zone. And uh, over here, the stock was trailing at, uh, like the stock was trading at a trailing PE in excess of 50 times earnings. That is a hell of a PE, right? That is where, uh, well, like most conditions don't justify this sort of PE. But the only time you can justify a PE like this is where uh, you've got, you know, real tailwinds behind the business and substantial revenue growth and gross margin, uh, you know, like gross margin um, strength. In this case, uh, that was in the rear view mirror. The good times were behind the stock. So, even though the demand for AI across the world will remain strong and uh, it shouldn't really curtail the, the, the demand for the company's products, but we do feel that given the, the, like the business developments as well as the likely gross margin normalization and a slight downtick in revenue, the PE should also normalize. And like given it's a hot area of the market, it shouldn't normalize to the 20s or 30s. We expect that the PE should uh, maybe normalize or re-rate to the 40s. Um, currently, at around the 930 price level, the stock is trading at a PE of slightly below 50 times. And if you bring that down, you re-rate that, uh, that down to, to 40x, 
you're looking at a price below eight hundred dollars. If the stock trades at eight hundred dollars, you've got uh, a downside in excess of fifteen percent for the stock, and that brings us to how you should, how you can maximize the 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 benefit that you can have from this likely downside. Our our recommendation is simple: uh, buy out of the money put options with a you know fair bit of expiry ahead. Uh, maybe like the the late August expiry stock. Um, if you buy the uh, buy the late August expiry puts with a strike of eight hundred dollars, they're trading at around three to four, say like three to five dollars per uh, per option. And uh, given that if the stock price approaches eight hundred dollars, you're looking at exponential gains. Even if even if the stock does not fall substantially, but it still does fall, we're looking at a profitable trade. You're not looking at a loss because, given that the the like there's a fair bit of runway for the option expiry, uh, you've got little theta, and you will still have price appreciation as the the stock price approaches the strike price. How to play this? um thank you for listening stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like you know uh, contemporary relevant investment ideas thank you